So this is vlog entry number two on my fourth day here at Checklist Incorporated. And today's a really important day. We have our new employee coming in and I think people are a little intimidated because he's Russian. But I don't think people need to be intimidated. I mean, Russians are no better assassins than Americans. The second born movie clearly proved that. <laughs> he annihilated that Russian. <laughs> oh, what good movies. And I think that their popularity proves that Americans clearly like assassins. We're not bad people. I mean, clearly. I think the first born movie especially has a good message. <laughs> if you don't kill your target, you'll get shot in the back and lose your memory. Checklist Incorporated, this is Burns, the most expert assassin ever. I have a great deal for you. We have Labor Day sale on right now. 15% discount for all hits on bosses. Uh-huh. Oh, you're a boss. I see. What's your company? Uh-huh. Well, I have great news for you. None of your employees have called today. Bye. I regret to inform you that if I was hired to kill you, you would have been dead as of one second ago. Pleased to meet you. I am Shirley Kimball. I'm the receptionist here. What's your name? Nikolai. Well, it is just great having you here with us, Nikolai. <laughs> Nikolai. Uh, all right. Uh, would you like to talk to uh, Donna? <laughs> Right? Yes, I would be liking to talk to Ms. Walker. Alright, I will call her right away. <laughs> yeah, Donna, this is Shirley down here. Um, we got a guy up here up front um, named some... Nikolai. Nikolai, that's the guy. Uh, yeah, can you come down here and uh, assist the, this, this thing? All right, sounds good, great, awesome. Okay, hurry up, all right. Should we go in a second? Thank you. Mm-hmm. I feel pretty, I'm oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright. I'm so pretty. Miss Arnold, I got some shots. Resign. Hey, Nikolai, I'll give you that tour if you're ready. Only if the tour is ready for me. Some places I've worked at have people throwing paper at trash cans all day, calling it grenade practice, but here at Checklist we have actual work to keep us busy. So this is the main office where you'll be spending most of your time, so make yourself at home. This is your computer here. My computer is at home, downloading cell phone tracking software. Okay, but this is the computer you'll be using while you're here. Okay. This is Summer. She'll be giving you your first assignment. Nice to meet you, Nikolai. We like to get our employees on the job right away. Wonderful. Who is my first target? Well, it's actually kind of a printer. That needs repair. And when you're done with that, I'll just have you fill that out real quick. It's just the machinery repair form. And if you need any help, just let me know. I know all about the paperwork. In Mother Russia, the paperwork knows all about you. Actually, the paperwork 
can't know anything. It's composed of inanimate objects and is incapable of such personal familiarity. So your statement that in Mother Russia the paperwork knows all about you is false. You're welcome. something. Nicole. He must be a really impressive assassin. He's from Russia. That doesn't make him a... How, how do you impress an impressive assassin? What? This Nicole guy. How do I impress him? I mean, I thought you could give me some pointers. You're always impressing Shirley. <laughs> well, you know, when you're as impressive as me, it's not too hard. I can give you a couple impressive tips on impressing impressive people. I am ready. Well, to start with, you have to have the right confident poise about you when you approach. When you're starting a conversation, you gotta be casual, like this, you know? Okay, you guys do realize this is a massive waste of company time. Is that a fact? Ask a non-flirtatious question in a flirtatious tone, like... How cold is it really in Russia? When he replies negative 15 degrees Celsius, you say, that's pretty cold. Of course, nothing like Antarctica. I did a job there when it was negative 100. But you got to make sure that the last part, you say slow. All right. I totally got this. Nicole, how cold is it in Russia? Are you thinking of vacationing there? Uh, uh, no. Actually, I vacationed in Antarctica. That is very boring. Um, so, how cold is it in Russia? So why do you sort your socks by weight and color? Actually, I sort them by size, manufacturer, season, and molecular weight. That's all I'll say. Well, I'm sorry to inform you, but there was an accident involving the information on the address you gave us for the target. I'm going to have to look it all up again. Well, yes. I'm sure you could, sir, but as my co-worker Milton here tells me, if the paperwork loss is our fault, we have to collect information ourselves to fix it. Yes, it is very nice of us. Unfortunately, it will cost you an extra $500 in additional labor fees. I understand that, sir, but as my co-worker Milton says, it's company policy. I'm sorry, sir. But it also looks like your non-disclosure form has been ruined. And since you opted not to fill out two copies, as my co-worker Milton here advises, you will have to fill out another one, which will have an additional paperwork fee of $23.34. Or, for only $40.42, you can fill out two copies, as my co-worker Milton here advises. Yes, sir. You could also draw your order. All right, sir. Sorry to hear that. Bye, sir. Customers these days. Okay, the 59th and last question of this interview is what exactly was the most notable part of your application experience? Well, the Assassin's of High Character questionnaire was very much too long and filled with stupid questions. Well, actually, that's an opinion, not a fact. 
Is there anything specific that you want to talk to me about? Oh yes, question 78 springs to mind. You notice that your co-worker Tommy is looking very depressed. What do you do? A. Shoot him. B. Work harder so that he doesn't have to work. C. Tell the manager Tommy needs time off work. And my personal favorite, D. Ask Tommy if he is having problems with his marriage. Okay, yes, some of them are more obviously wrong than others. Are there any other questions? Yes, let's take a look at question 149. You're about to take a shot at your target. One of your co-workers is also about to take the same shot. What do you do? Shoot him at the same time as your co-worker? Shoot your co-worker? Shoot your co-worker's gun? Or suggest that you and your co-worker call the manager and discuss who should take the shot? What are you doing? Searching for hidden cameras. In Mother Russia, hidden cameras look for you. Actually... Too fast with the hand sanitizer.